Hello everyone, and hello 2024. It's cold, it's freezing. Something that's easy to get isn't worth having. And that's what I want this video to be about. Starting the year, I'm running off to the gym, doing my workout and running back. This isn't one of those regular videos I post, but there's a lot of life lessons to be learned. What's the point of having a life where you're not known for something? That in itself should motivate you. But anyways, I'll get back to you once I'm done with my training and I can sit down and talk to you one to one. All right, let's talk, just me and you. If you've sat there and decided on a new year's resolution, then I don't know what to think of you, honestly. It's now 2024 and ideally, that New Year's resolution, whether that was going to the gym or start eating healthy, hopefully you've started it. And I really hope you're not one of those people that gives up on it by the end of the month, by the end of three months. But then again, if you did give up, I expected it. I never really understood the point of a New Year's resolution. So you're telling me you came up with a goal somewhere in 2023 and you said, on the first day of 2024, I'm going to magically change and start then. So you let your laziness get to the better of you. Why didn't you just start it? Why did you have to delay it till 2024? Why didn't you just start? Why didn't you just get it done? Unfortunately, a lot of people are like this. Just make change, make it now. I've seen a lot of jokes and memes online saying, how they've already messed up 2024, 2025 is now my year. On a real note, come on, just start now. Do the right thing. Always think long term. In the long term, will, will my future self thank me? Or will my future self suffer as a result of me doing something now that will pleasure me in the short term? You want to make your future self happy. This is the correct way to live. Suffering in the present moment so that you in 10, 20 years time is happier and it's easier, healthier. I'll tell you what, I don't have any New Year's resolutions, but my goal is the same goal as every day. Just to keep consistent, keep working hard. I'm aware that if I truly work hard, it will open doors and those doors will open up for other doors. I don't have any long term future goals i just work as hard as i can in the present to ensure i am doing the best i can every single day and automatically that does well for me i don't want to come across as anything bad but 2023 was such a brilliant year for me i can sit here and list all of my achievements but i'm not going to do that i've got plenty and i'm truly happy with how my 2023 went and i know it's got to the point i'm so disciplined that my 2024 is going to be better. I don't have to hope for anything. I don't need to come up with a goal. It will happen. It will be a better year. And I can't wait. And that's already started. Yeah, it won't be perfect. There will be times where it's gone badly. I will get back up and continue. I have to. There's nothing that's going to stop me. So discipline. That's the main thing I believe that's so strong in me that I don't really need to worry anymore and that's something I try and emphasize for you guys as well once you get to a point where you have enough discipline forget your other skills if you develop enough discipline all your other skills will improve drastically as well forget motivation we're talking about discipline here it doesn't matter how you feel if you just go and do it that's really changes you it's really changed me yeah have fun along the way I mean you've seen these two YouTube videos where it's just chaos and <laughs> <laughs> madness in our in our house outside of what you see in these videos is me with my head down just getting on with what I need to do and that's resulted in me being really satisfied right now and I just feel so good all the time when I'm working hard it's ideal 
really thankful for that. That leads me on to the next point, gratefulness. As well as discipline, I really, really encourage all of you to be grateful. I know we've got a range of an audience watching me, but all of you, if you could just be thankful for everything every day, that will just make you happy. Look at the world around you, the wars that are going on. The unfortunate situational variables that are affecting people on a daily basis. They would do anything to change lives, change souls with me and you. In today's world, everyone wants more and more and more. You know, if you've got a car, you want the newest car. If you've got a house, you want a bigger house. But at least you've got a car, at least you've got a house. There's people that can't afford that. There's people who probably haven't even seen a proper house or a proper car that works properly and is brand new in front of their eyes. And when you really, really understand that, when you really internalize that, it just makes you really, really grateful, it improves you as a person. I mean, this is something I've seen I put a lot of people back, gossip. If you can stop gossip, you will realize how much time you have in a day to improve. Gossip, it, I understand, I study human sciences. It's in human nature. It's one of the reasons why we've actually evolved as humans. Gossip is innate in us, but it's such a time waste. I, I just don't understand that if you've got the time to talk bad about other people, I mean, you're not perfect yourself. Nobody's perfect, right? Everyone has bad bits about them including all of us. But how do you have time to pick out specific bad things and talk about them in a group of other people, putting them down, putting yourself down? There's just no benefit to you at all. It doesn't make you any better than you are. If anything, it makes you worse of a person. If there's an issue, remain professional, remain calm, go up to the person and discuss it in a friendly manner. I've dealt with people who are shouting in front of my face, I've, I've dealt with people who really really have tried to annoy me, but just stay calm and if you need help with staying calm, just google it, how to stay calm, there'll be plenty of resources to help you, you know, even boxing, boxing has helped me remain calmer as a person, everyone associates it with violence, knocking each other out, quite an aggressive sport but it makes you disciplined as a person, makes you grateful as a person. You're able to just block people off who are annoying you. Just, you realize you don't have time for that. So there you go. Maybe try out boxing. There's, there must be a local boxing gym to you. No harm in going round and trying out a session. They will always be happy to take in new people. Boxing instructors are some of the nicest people ever, I tell you. But they'll push you to your limits but amazing people. Going into 2024, have goals if you want, but please don't see it as a new year's resolution. As you can see from the start of the video, I went to the gym today and it was so beautiful to see so many people. It was so packed. And I guess some people at the gym find that a bit annoying, but honestly, it's so nice for me to see. It motivates me even more. Seeing everyone working on themselves, losing that fat or gaining that muscle, increasing that confidence. So good to see everyone in it together. But the fortunate reality is a lot of people will quit the next day, the next week, the next month. And some people will stay consistent for a year. And yes, life is busy. They may have to cut days off, or skip a day or a few, you know, have rest days here and there. That's okay. As long as you're keeping that consistency, and that discipline, you'll be fine. I love to see that. So please do not see it as a new year resolution. If you do make a mistake a couple of months down the line or now, just pick yourself back up and start again. Don't wait till 2025. You're wasting your time, right? We're on this world for a limited time to so make your life something important and a life that you'll be proud of. In today's world, my approach there's a lot of youtubers and all famous people out there that preach the same message as i'm preaching right now it's now seen as the unpopular opinion it's not what you consider cool some of you may call me a nerd some of you may call me weird i don't really care <laughs> um with negative comments i get this a lot on my youtube um you know, Instagram in real life. If it's gonna help me improve, if it's a constructive form of feedback that can help improve a future video, I'll take that on board. If it's a straight up negative comment, look, 
You can say it all you want. I really, really don't care. I will not take it in at all. I won't take anything personally. I'll just move on with my life because my life is too busy. I'm too focused, honestly. <laughs> honestly, I do think I'm doing really well of myself. And I, I just want people to see that as positive. Because I know there'll be people out there that's jealous and they'll start, you know, again, gossiping and etc. But if you can take me as an example and use that positively to motivate yourself and start the journey yourself, that is the best thing that can happen. I really, really like that. My Instagram is here. Um, leave a comment below if I can be of any assistance or you need me to help you out, I would love to. Um, I do have a record of replying to comments and my DMs really quickly, so I'll always be happy. Just finally as well, since the middle of last year, I didn't wait till 2024. I started taking my LinkedIn really seriously. So now I've got it all filled up, all up to date with all my stuff. Connections as time goes and I'm really progressing my professional self, and my online portfolio. It's basically an online CV that other professionals can see. Um, and it's really helped me progress um, as I'm now starting to get into the private equity and the investment banking sector I really recommend all of you to start a linkedin no matter which industry you want to go into or if you even don't know what industry you want to go into i'm still at that stage i don't know what i want to do but it's helped me connect with a wide range of people so um, i'll leave my linkedin linked below as well wow this video has been longer than i expected best luck to your 2024 i really wish that you can stay focused and have a year that you can be proud of just like how I feel my 2023 went. Keep me updated if it helps.